All right, remember to silence your cell phones. Flash photography is prohibited. Make sure you announce your name and media affiliation when asking questions. Limit of one follow-up per person. Make sure you raise your hand on the questions. We everybody, have Mark everybody, Adams. Everybody got that? We have Mark Adams, who's the head coach, and Terrence Shannon and Bryson Williams, and we'll start with the opening statement from Coach Adams. Well, thank you. I want to change the mood a little bit. I'm hey, we're elated that uh, we get through this first game. So excited for these bunch of guys that they get to uh, uh, advance. They've survived in advance. We're getting ready for our next opponent on Sunday, whoever that might be. But couldn't be more thrilled the way we played. One of the best games we've played all year. Excited that our guys um, are showing some improvement, and that's the thing we want to do is uh, continue to grow as a team. And and uh, I thought our guys did that. Uh, with that said, uh, again, we did a great job preparing. We were, we took uh, Montana State very serious, a very good program, well coached. So, uh, like I told Coach Frank last the game, it's one of the best, if not the best game we played all year. So, anyway, we can build on that. Thank you. All right, we'll open it up for the student athletes. And when you ask a question, uh, let us know who it's for so they know who should be answering. Uh, start right here. Nick James, uh, Nick James, KUSI here in San Diego. Coach Adams, this is for you. Um, how nice is it for uh, a young man like Buzo Agbo to come back home in front of family and friends and come in and, and fill it up right there at the end, eight points in front of everybody here back yes, home in San Diego? great question. So excited, hometown. Uh, player got, got in game, played so well, but that's not surprising at all to our team. He's made shots all year for us, one of our best three-point shooters, and he took a charge and uh, just played well on both ends of the floor. So extremely happy for him. He, he, he's such an unbelievably nice young man, and he's a gym rat, and it's glad to see him uh, get a chance to play and play so well. All right, now it's a uh, student athlete, so question for the student athletes. Thanks. Brady King, Fox 34 in Lubbock. Bryson, you're not too far from home. Your first March Madness experience, did it add up to your expectations? Uh, definitely. I mean, March Madness is unbelievable. Um, it's a great stage and uh, a lot of good teams up here and a lot of good basketball. So um, it was just a great, it was great. My whole family was here to be able to watch. They drove down and uh, it was just, it was awesome. It was, a, it was a blessing for sure. And for TJ, got off to a hot start, three threes, and I think the first five minutes, what, what was working for you, and how does it feel to kind of start the tournament out on this note? Uh, my teammates just they found me when I was open. Uh, we all moved up, we moved the ball pretty well today. Uh, we had a lot of assists, and I just wanted to bring energy to the game, and I was just playing off that. And um, when we when I have energy and coming, uh, we play pretty well. And Coach Darby, he reminded me of that before the game, so I just had to do my best, playing with energy, uh, playing with defense, uh, and doing, finding my finding myself in the offense. Mason Horodisky with KMAC News in Lubbock, Texas. For both of you guys, uh, you two and the rest of the starting five, both in double-digit figures today offensively, what do you think made it so easy for you guys to complement each other offensively? Uh, I feel like everyone was unselfish. Uh, nobody was hunting shots. Uh, we did a good job moving the ball. And when we play unselfish and selfless, uh, we're a pretty good team. Yeah, reiteration of what TJ said. I mean, when we share the ball and then have the number of assists we had today, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's just going to flow for us. And we um, everybody played well tonight. And we moved that ball, and, and it, it really helped us at the end. Carlos Silva from the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Bryson, uh, going back to your family being here, I guess how did how, how many people were here? And what what was it like just to, to kind of see them in the stands? Because I know you're pointing to them. And what was the last time they saw you in California? Uh, last time my family saw me in California probably was about uh, two, maybe uh, two years ago. Uh, I haven't been back home in a minute, and um, I mean, it was just good to see them actually in the stands, and especially in the NCAA tournament. I mean, this is my first time being here, so I mean, just the magnitude of it all was just uh, unbelievable. Any other questions? Okay, we'll go uh, pink shirt. John Titel from HoopsHD.com. For either player, um, you guys shattered the school's tournament record today with 97, breaking a record that was set in 96 against Anton Jamison and Vince Carter. Um, I know you guys are great at defense, but did you think that you had this kind of offensive game in you? You guys be careful how you say that. <laughs> um, definitely. I mean, we try to feed off. We try to feed our offense off of our defense, and I mean, when you get easy opportunities and things like that, and you're able to get uh, turnovers, 
and deflections and uh, get the ball back and get extra possessions, I mean, that's definitely going to help you on the offensive side. And uh, that's what we uh, try to bank on tonight was our defense and leading it into offense. Coulter Nuwana, Skyline Sports. Terrence, you guys hit 10 of your first 11 shots. Was there something Montana State was doing defensively you guys thought you could exploit? Uh, no, I feel like uh, our guys, we just moved the ball pretty well, like I said earlier. And we just found an open man. Uh, and rather the shot went in or didn't, uh, it was a good shot. And I just feel like, yeah. Um, Ariel Schaefer, KLBK, back in Welbeck. This is for either player. When Malik went up for that dunk, TJ, I saw you run by the baseline. So excited for him. And you guys were like that the entire time. The amount of energy that you guys support each other. Just kind of comment on today's energy. I mean, this is a this is a family unit. I mean, anybody that's doing well, anybody that's succeeding on the court, I mean, we're gonna be happy for that player anytime. And I mean, we all knew Malik got crazy bounce. I ain't never seen him pull that out the bag ever. So, and him to do that in the NCAA game, I mean, it was just it was crazy. I I wasn't mad at TJ for running all the way over there. I, I had to hold myself back from doing the same thing, so. I won't do that again. <laughs> uh, Joseph Hoyt, Dallas Morning News. Bryson, obviously the tournament which for teams that make runs, it's about playing your best ball at the end of the season. I guess after a game like this, which your coach said was probably one of the best you've had, how much confidence does this give you guys moving forward? Uh, this gives us a lot of confidence. I mean, definitely um, we play one of our best defensive games we played all year, and uh, we, we just need to improve and build on that. Uh, we know we are capable of much more, and uh, we we just going to keep harping on that, watch a lot of film, get back to the drawing board, and uh, pull that out of us. I mean, we got a lot of potential. We want to we uh, capitalize on all of that that we have. So, One of, oh, sorry. One of the things Montana State does is they force a lot of offensive fouls. Give, you, give your name and affiliation, oh, please. Austin Montgomery, SB Nation. So when, when Montana State, they do a really great job of drawing offensive fouls and you guys do the same thing was is this playing against that type of style is that something you guys were looking into going into this game I can't hear you oh. yeah is it can you hear yeah all right um, Montana State they've done a really good job in the big sky forcing off forcing charges forcing offensive fouls and something is but that's something you guys were looking at uh, into an, and just playing against your defense in practice, was that something you guys were just able to exploit because you kind of knew what was coming? Um, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of teams. I mean, we play a lot of teams in our conference in the Big 12 that uh, tries to take a lot of charges and uh, try to draw a lot of offensive fouls so they can be able to get the ball back. So, I mean, that's just something that we've been facing all year and uh, we something we always uh, try to keep in, keep in our, the back of our heads. And uh, we were able to um, not fall into that tonight. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thank you, gentlemen. All right, thanks, guys. And now questions for Coach Adams. Uh, John Titel from HoopsHD.com. I know the goal is to win. How important is it to know that nobody on the team played more than 29 minutes to stay fresh? Yeah, John, something we talked about uh, on the bench or as the game progressed to try to, if we could, give our, our uh, starters and guys to rest a little bit and not ha have them out there for too many minutes so they can be rested for Sunday. So that was uh, one of the real positives about the game. We played a lot of guys and they all played well and got, had a chance to contribute and had a chance to rest our, our starters. Uh, Joseph Hoyt, Dallas Morning News. Obviously your defensive philosophy is kind of a well-reported science at this point. I'm just curious from an offensive standpoint, do you guys have daily metrics that you guys want to hit and how close did you hit them today? Yeah, I was a little concerned. I, I don't want a guy who's thinking too much offense. He was started scoring too many points. I like him to stay. Remember what our identity is on, on defense. But no, ser seriously, I, it's one of the best offensive games we've had, and we really shared the ball. We, uh, I think we had 20, what, uh, three or four assists. I guess 22 assists. Is that what it was? 23. And that's, that may be the most we've had all year, but that was one of our emphasis is we want to grow offensively. We've got to share the ball. And so we've got a lot of guys that um, can, can shoot threes and make plays and drive. Uh, our biggest challenge is just spreading the floor and getting some spacing, getting those guys to move the ball, and just trust in our in our offense. So uh, we've uh, we did that, and and I thought well, we really worked on that a lot this week on trying to uh, do some things to get more ball movement. So it was uh, it was it was great to see these guys do that. Dana O'Neill at the Athletic. Mark, as, as you st I'm over here. As you, here. Hey, as you started this kind of new season, if you will, was there something that you wanted to see? particularly in this game in just terms of like energy effort, whatever it might be, just to kind of see how this was going to go going forward. 
Well, you know, uh, one of the great things about this team is uh, they love basketball and, and they want to be coached, want to be coached hard, and and so we do that. And they and they are because of that, they they really take preparation seriously. But our our uh, theme or motto is just together we attack. So every game we're you know whoever we're playing, we're trying to attack on both ends of the floor. And I, I thought that was. Uh, uh, some there's a big difference at the start of the game. So we came out of the gate just on both ends. Just we were pushing the ball up the floor, got some easy baskets, and we were able to turn them over and score off our defense. And that first five minutes set the stage for the rest of the game. Hey, Coach Jared Johnson, inside the Red Raiders, 24/7 Sports. Uh, I noticed Clarence didn't play today, and he was a game time decision. Would he have played if the game was closer, or was yes, he not able he, to go? Yes, he, he would have. You know, he's been been wearing a boot around just to protect that ankle, and so he's uh, he could have played, wanted to play, but we thought it best just to to rest him for Sunday. Parker Cotton, Bozeman Daily Chronicle. Um, Coach, do you uh, from your from your film study of Montana State beforehand to seeing them in person today? What translated the most that you felt you had to deal with in real time? Well, I mean, it, it, well, they can really shoot the ball, and and we were that was a huge concern for us, and they continue making some of those threes. But um, you know, they're a very balanced team. I mean, they have inside scoring, outside scoring, a point guard that is really good off the bounce. So uh, you know, I thought we did a great job of containing uh, him, and then uh, and then on the inside, at least the first half, control the inside game. So the guys that had to score were a lot of their perimeter players that. Uh, that uh, maybe not used to carrying that load, so I thought that was really good. But uh, just our, we just want to take advantage of our athleticism against them, and I thought we were able to do that. Christian Hay, KTXT Lubbock, Coach Adams. The scoring has been up and down throughout the season. How much confidence does it give y'all throughout the rest of the tournament that this was your highest scoring game all season? Well, I mean, again, I think it's certainly easy to build on. Anytime you're shooting the ball well, it's hard for me to take any credit for that. Then you just, when when they're shooting the ball and shooting threes, easy, uh, uh, winning comes a lot easier and you don't have to rely on that defense as much. So, uh, yeah, if we could shoot the ball, uh, you know, Sunday and uh, throughout the tournament, then uh, we're going to be in great shape. You got time for two more questions. Uh, Coach Adams, Ariel Schaefer, KLBK in Lubbock. You guys were rotating off the bench today. Daniel Bachel got some good minutes. KJ, how important is it to give those guys time in an environment like this? Yeah, I think it's great that, that we wanted to give Bacho, both those guys, especially Bacho, more playing time. We've, you know, he's a guy at six uh, eleven that we're going to need, and and so to get his, uh, you know, getting some experience and uh, in the game, and, and he, in fact, he played quite a few minutes. It's going to be good for him. So. Yeah, it, it was a, you know, I, I don't know if I could have scripted this any better. It was, it was a great game for us. Final question. Hey, Coach Pete Christie, KCBD. Uh, it's always tough to get that first win. What will the, be the message moving forward with the guys? Yeah, Pete, I mean, it's, you know, we're, it's, it's a stressful uh, time for any team because, you know, like I told the guys before the game, you look around and you love these guys and we have such a great relationship and it's been such a wonderful journey for us. But, this is a kind of a do or die situation. Every game is, and so uh, you know it's how you handle that pressure and 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 uh, believing in yourself and and uh, trusting in uh, what you're doing. So, but yeah, I mean we we got out of the gate and it was it was a great win. We build on that, and I know this team's uh, certainly you know wants to uh, play as long as we can. And we talked about that. Well, let's forget about uh, this first game and let's get ready because we did a great job preparing. Um, so from Montana State, and if we can do the same, we'll have a chance to win that one. Thank you, Coach. Okay, Congratulations. thank you, guys. God bless y'all. Thank you. A recording.